Uh, like I told you right before the break, we have a lady. Her name is Robbie Nothnagel, and she was actually hit by a distracted driver. It is National Distracted Driving Awareness Month, um, and you were here just speaking with the Vail Rotary, right? Is yes. Is that how it worked out? Well, and we had you in here a year ago talking about yes, this. Yes, yes. So, you know, it, it's hard to believe that it's been two years, but... Um, is that when you were hit by the... Two district? years ago, yeah. So, and during my... Re so, I was just walking across the street. It, this is how easy it happens. I was just walking across the street with my kids, and out of nowhere comes a car, and, you know, the next thing I know, I'm laying uh, on the ground. Um, where were you? I was in Texas. Um, and the girl told the police when she got out of her car that she didn't see me till I hit her windshield. And lucky for me, she was driving a small car because otherwise I wouldn't be here. And was um, she, how fast was she going? She was going 40 miles an hour. So, and she didn't, fast. she didn't hit her brakes at all. But so this is a photograph of you oh, yeah, that laying was, on your back miserable because you got beat pretty, up. Yeah. Yeah. And how are you doing now? Are you doing okay? You know, I am mostly recovered. Um, I, it's sort of a trauma that you never get over. But, um, but I have nerve damage in my leg, so it still affects me every day. But, but anyway, so during that time, I, just, I started doing some research, and I saw that so many people actually die. You know, more people die than survive distracted driving crashes. And I felt like as a survivor, I wanted to do something. So... I started Colorado Drive Safe and advocate for people to, you know, pay attention and, and not use their phones. And one of the things, you know, I mean, it hits hard when there's a whole month associated with it. this is national you know, too, correct? Yes, okay. yes. Um, so what I wanted to do today was to show how easy it is to turn off your phone. My wife has this on her phone and she uses it. So and I need to use it also. So. Um, if you know, I mean, I can tell my story, I can tell other people's stories and there's so many stories to tell, but, but what I decided was more important is to share a tidbit of information that people could do to help themselves, you know? And so I don't know how to show this, but you go into settings. So we're talking about an iPhone. We're talking about an iPhone. It's you go only an into iPhone. Settings. Go into settings right now with your phone. Yeah. If you. you're not driving, go into settings. Yep. Look at Do Not Disturb. It's about halfway down. I don't know if you can see this. Probably not, but that's okay. Um, we can, people, we'll... And then there's an option that says Do Not Disturb While Driving. And it's set to manual. And I don't know if Apple could just set it to automatic and it would be fine. But it's set to manual so it won't work. But you set it to automatically. And then you go back. And there's an option. And it sends a message. And it sends a text. It says, I'm driving with Do Not Disturb. While driving, I'll see your message when I get where I'm going. And it sends that to the person. Do you want to hold it up towards that camera right there? Maybe it we sends can see it, it to the person that you're um, Oh, look, we have a photo of it. They getting found one. Yeah. The, the text from. It says, and, cannot respond right now because yeah, I'm driving. I'll yeah. respond when I'm not driving or and something. It, and, it does, and your phone doesn't ding. And it also holds your phone call. So it sends your phone calls directly to your voicemail. And so you can drive and not be disturbed. Right. And, you know, it's amazing if you could just do that one little thing. And it's a great way to get started on not picking your phone up. Now, when you pick your phone up when you're driving, right. it's going to say, are you driving? So there's a message that comes on that says, you have to say, I'm not driving. So it makes it a little difficult, and hopefully people won't do just, that. Just, just enough to make you think twice about it. Yeah, And yeah. that's kind of where it needs to start, yeah, I think. Yeah, So coloradodrivesafe.com is the website. Yes. And these are the magnets that are available to put on your car. Yeah, I don't it know says, if you can see that. It stash it. Stash it. Stash and it. The message and, from that is, you know, when you get in your car, you think, you see it, and you think about it, and you try not to pick up your phone. Right. I mean, I had one of my daughter's friends tell me that, tell her that she went to pick up her phone and she had a little stash it sticker on there. The phone was ringing, she was in her car and she decided not to answer it because yeah. that was there. So just little reminders to help us get over our phone addiction. And, you know, I mean, it can always wait. National Safety Council's um, motto for the this month is just drive. So 
Okay. You know, that's yeah. the message we're trying to get out is it, it happens so fast. Okay. And, Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Robbie, good to see you. I'm glad yeah. you're doing okay. Yeah, thanks. All right, be safe out there. Anything can wait until you're not driving. Don't pick your phone up while you're driving, everybody. Make a habit of it starting today. We have Michelle in Beaver Creek. Uh, she's looking at that weather forecast next.